вниманию, трехраундовый поединок в легком весе. Всем привет, меня зовут Расхаманфлов Руслан. Я представляю клуб Урал Топ Тим, команда Рать. Мой соперник Максим Дивнич, экс-чемпион данной организации. Он является ударником. Я думаю, что мы покажем очень красивый, ярый, бескомпромиссный бой. Максим, давай покажем хороший бой. Здравствуйте, меня зовут Максим Динич. Я боец родом из Донбасса, представляю город Санкт-Петербург. Мой соперник Руслан Рахманкулов. Очень хороший универсал, и борется, и боксирует. Мой план на бой победить. Руслан, надеюсь, ты хорошо подготовился к нашему бою, потому что я в хорошей форме. Спортсмен в Синьгу Рейджа представляет команды Урал Топ Тим и команду Рач. Город Екатеринбург. Приветствуйте! Руслан Рахманкулов! Моя игра. 98. Баста. Баста здесь. 2, 2, 0, 6. This is the 12th fight of the Russian Ruslan Rachmankulov's pro MMA career and his first in M1. Rachmankulov lost his pro MMA debut since then. 10 fights, 10 wins, 7 finishes. Rachmankulov told me that he wants a very fast start, wants to be aggressive early, be first in every single exchange. Rasman Kulav also said, I want to try to overwhelm Maxim Divnich early with heavy pressure and constant forward movement. Sportsman of Krasnodar Gorizhia представляется столицу смешанных боевых единоборств России, город Санкт-Петербург и город Герой Москва. Встречайте, Maxim Divnich! Biggest ovation of the night from this Moscow crowd. Thus far goes to the Russian Maxim Divnich, the former M1 lightweight champion. In his last bout, he tried to reclaim that title. That was May of this year, fighting for the then vacant M1 lightweight championship, Divnich, losing versus Demiris Magulov by way of fifth round TKO. Divnik started his pro MMA career 11 and 0 and claimed the M1 lightweight title. Since that run, Divnik two wins, three losses, and finished in all three of those defeats. Always interesting to see how a fighter responds after losing a title fight. That is the scenario right now here at M1 Challenge 85 for Maxim Divnik. Faces the very informed Ruslan Rachmankulov in this lightweight fight. Divnich, a very good clinch, uses his grappling defensively, brings a strong Muay Thai base for his MMA striking. In our fighter meeting, Divnich talked about the importance of this bout, the importance of a victory. Let's go back to the machine. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is an M1 challenge bout in the lightweight division. Now let me introduce your fighter in the blue corner. This fighter is 20 years old. He weighed in at 70 kilograms. He stands 175 centimeters tall and has an impressive record of 10 wins with only one loss. Representing Ural top team and Rach team, please welcome Ruslan Rachman Kulov. 
and now welcome his opponent in the red corner. This fighter is 29 years old. He weighed in at 70.2 kilograms. He stands 175 centimeters tall and has a professional record of 13 wins and three losses. Representing Moscow, Russia, Maxim Dimnich. And the referee this bout, Vashislav Kiselov. Итак, внимательно. Правила помним, не нарушаем. Работаем три раунда по пять минут. Уважаем друг друга, деремся честно и активно. Слушаем внимательно мои команды. Руки пожали. Угла. In the lightweight division, Ruslan Rachmankulov versus Maxim Divnich. Судья, 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 время. Готов, готов. Бой. Round number one. Gray and red trunks for Rachman Kulov, black trunks for the former M1 lightweight champion fighting in his home city, Moscow, Maxim Divnich. Outside kick to start for Divnich. Yeah, nice count on the kick, though. Oh, Rachman Kulov, nice, fast hands. Divnich trying to work off of the jab early. Out of the orthodox, the right-handed stance. Lead left hook. Yeah, super fast reflexes. Batman Hulov is waiting for Divnich to strike. The counter is coming in super fast. Batman Hulov twi trying twice over the top with the right hand to no avail. Oh, nice kick. They say a counter to a low kick is a big right hand, but that one put him off guard. Shooting in. There's the shot. Oh, Double leg attempt. Oh, Safe him. Not that time. Second effort. Ruslan Rachman Kulov hits the takedown. Needs to grab the wrist as Divnich stands up. He needs to pull him out. He's got a hold of the waist. It's good to keep tight with him, but as somebody's standing up, you have to grab the wrist, then the elbow, then pull the knee out in that order. Again, the rope save him. Heavy pressure on the waist cinch, the body lock from Rachman Kulov. Short right hand from Divnich. Back fully to his feet. Short Long knee. pressure there by Rachman Kulov. Nice, beautiful. We're just on the takedown. Divnich trying to get right back to his feet. Rachman Kulov instead one hook in. Oh, we need it. Went for the rear naked. Rachman Kulov has it locked on and loses it on the turn from Divnich. Yeah, he was sort of off an angle, Sean. It was going to be very hard to apply that. But Best Divnich needs to be careful. He's being pulled off for grabbing the ropes. It saved him a few times. I know it's instinctive when it's there. It's very hard not to grab it. It's the same when you're in a cage. You know, you get pulled down. You put your fingers through the cage, but. It is the rule, you cannot allow yourself to grab a hold of the ropes. There was definitely the firm verbal warning from our referee Vyacheslav Kiselev. Two left hands from Rachman Kulov. Right to counter from Maxim Divnich. Divnich again back to his feet, but you see how tight Rachman Kulov is oh, staying. Grabbing the ropes again with his elbow. Referee has been very lenient. Driving through with his shoulder, Rachman Kulov. Now the level change. Look for the ankle pick. Back to the single leg attempt. Well defended by Divnich, making himself very wide. Oh, he's down this time. As soon as the hands clasp, he's down. But again, straight back to his feet. Rachman Kulov hitting the takedowns, but not controlling after the takedown. What, what he's doing when he's got the takedown, he's controlling the hips. You can't control the hips when they're on the knees like that. You've got to pull the leg away. If they're on the back and they're trying to get up, the first thing they'll do is post up on the elbow, so you pull the elbow. Then it'll be the hand, so you pull the wrist. Then it'll be the knee, so you pull the knee. Or grab it by the ankle. But what he's doing is grabbing the waist and controlling it by the waist. It's great controlling position, but it doesn't keep you down. 70 seconds remaining round number one. Hey. 
Nice one, Ruck. Markulov giving Maxim Divnich very little time, very little space. And the problem Rachman Kulov is doing, or not doing, I should say, he's not throwing punches in this position. He's just sorely looking for the takedown. Now, I feel as if he threw punches, he would weaken his opponent and get the takedown a little bit easier. Getting the driving shoulder pressure from Rachman Kulov. <laughs> to your point, Machine, very little in the way of striking, really little in the way of offense from Rachman Kulov. This is just about position. Low blow detected by Vyacheslav Kiselev. Time called. Well, Divnik said it's okay. Let's go. Time right back in. Divnik was not interested in the oh, break. Nice. Body kick. It's high and tight from both fighters. Divnik stepping into the pocket first. Nice Spinning back kick. kick. Didn't land, but it took Divnich off of his striking line. Uppercut from Divnich. Spinning back kick again over the top. Divnich tries to pounce. Bell. That's the end of round one. Well, albeit it was Rachman Kulov that's had his opponent up against the ropes for the full five minutes near enough. He's the one who's got the bloody nose. We are online, m1global.tv. Videos, news, our M1 schedule and more. Remember to download the M1 Global TV app. Big overhand rights being thrown in round one by Ruslan Rachmankulov. Ford Olympic Stadium in Moscow, M1 Challenge 85. Still five more fights headed your way this evening. Round number two in the lightweight division. 10 and 1 Ruslan Rachmankulov versus 13 and 3 Maxim Divnich. The former M1 lightweight champion. Kick not getting through from Divnich. That low kicks worked well for Divnich. He's put him on the canvas with one of those kicks already. And the rear team kick, step in with the knee. Better stuff from Divnich. Yeah, like you said, though, Sean, he's used to be our champion. Oh, he got tagged on the way in. He saw an opening and got tagged. He's now in a guillotine. This looks tight. A lot of squeeze now from Rachman Kulov. Divnich needs to keep the hips away. He's got to push the hips back. He's not, no, he shouldn't be pulling him in. He should be pushing the hips away. You can't put a guillotine on when the hips are away from you. He's got his head out. He's been lucky, very lucky. Rachman Kulov, then immediately the level change in the takedown. Now he's got the ankle. This is better. Now he needs to pull the knee and the ankle together, and that'll put him on the canvas. He needs to grab the leg. There we go, now he's got it. He needs to pull them out. Well, now he decides to go for punches. He didn't do that in round one. Short hammer fist being thrown by Divnich. Well, he's got the ankle pick. He could have pulled the knee out. Nice knee by Divnich. Rachman Kulov machine. Continuing the close space standing, he has not been able to take advantage of those takedowns with any sort of top game. Again with the guillotine attempt. This is arm in guillotine. I don't think it's on it, to be honest. Now he switches inside, trying to put his hand on the inside to get a full locked on guillotine. And he feels unsafe, so he's left it. Divnich pops his head free. Spinning back fist on the exit. Like Big I say, swings. Sean, let's not forget Divnich used to be the champion, so he's used to going five rounds. I just wonder if he will wear out Rachman Kulov. Rachman Kulov's corner is blue, Divnich's corner is red. Rachman Kulov's got nice hands, though. Good right hand, the mouthpiece punched out with that right hand. Again, the referee. See, see Rachman Kulov walked away, his mouth guard come out. It's not up to him to stop the fight, it's up to the referee. Divnij, on the other hand, should have pounced on him. Just because a mouth guard comes out of someone's mouth, it does not mean you have to stop. The referee should correctly wait for a neutral position. That was not a neutral position. Spinning back fist. Divnij punching out the mouthpiece of Rachman Kulov with that right hand. Hands then down by the waist of Rachman Kulov, Sean. He looks tired. The machine, he did not, to your point, have the opportunity to take advantage of that punch. 
round two, a five remaining round two. Nice knee. And he landed on the chin. Knee to the body now from Divnich, the counter. And another. Oh, he claims it to be the groin. It was hard to see from this angle. Rachman Kulov is claiming that the shin came up and through. Time called, round number two. So it's the drag of the shin. Nice right hand. Time in, round number two resumes. 145 remaining of the second round. Very even thus far. Deep kick again from Divnich. Good right hand from Divnich. Yeah, Divnich is coming into his own, albeit he's not clearly taking this round, but he's coming back strong. And as I see that, Rachman Kulov gets the takedown. Close the distance, the immediate level change to the takedown. Divnich again trying to explode right back to his feet. feet hammer fist to the thigh. Up to the body. Again, he needs to grab that wrist. See how Divnich is posturing up with the hand? Rachman Kulov needs to lean. There we go. He needs to use his left hand. There he's got it now. He needs to pull out because that's the danger hand. That's what's making him get back up. And now he's gone back to the waist again. Too late. He's gone back. He's gone to his knees. Now he needs to grab the ankle or pull the knee out. What he's doing is waiting until all the hard work's done and then trying to throw him back down to the ground. Rachman Kulov continuing the close space, continuing the drive with pressure. He's not been able to establish his top game. All the close in fighting is standing. 15 seconds remaining round two. Short knee, high on the thigh, but legal from Rachman Kulov and another. Right to the body from Divnich, yeah, trying to turn. The body on the inside, on the closing seconds. Another knee from Ruslan Rachman Kulov, and we are headed to the third and final round. Well, it's a very close fight, Sean. It's very hot to see who's on the, got the upper hand. Better striking in round number two from Maxim Divnich than he showed in round number one. Slipping on that knee. Ruslan Rachman Kulov pouncing immediately. That was the right hand that punched out the mouthpiece of Rachman Kulov. Then referee Vyacheslav Kiselev immediately stepping in to put the mouthpiece back in. As you see in the corner of both fighters. Seconds out cold. As you look at Alexander Shlomenko, third and final round of this lightweight fight. A lot of talent in the crowd. Alexander Shlomenko, Sergei Haritonov, Ian the Machine Freeman. Oh, wow, that's a good guy. Well, here we go, Sean. Very close fight. Round number three. Coming out strong. Oh! Good right hand from Divnik. And again. Flipping on the left from Divnich, putting on the pressure, early stages, round three. Divnich, sen Divnich sensing the urgency. Short knees, Rachman Kulov closes distance. Oh, nice, great single. Again, he's grabbing that body lock. And again, we see Divnich immediately trying to posture back to his feet. It's hard to take somebody down. Well, it's not so much hard to take somebody down by grabbing the hips like that, but it just takes a lot of energy, a lot of energy to pull them out, when he could easily grab the ankle with his left arm, grab the knee with his right arm, and pull him forward. Now he needs to grab the wrist. He needs to, with his left arm, he needs to grab that wrist. But he's, he's just so fixated on the hips.
Bonnie Locke now on one knee. Ruslan Rachmankulov. 345 remaining third and final round. See all that hard work to get him down, and now he's back up again. Nice wrist control from Divnic. Rachmankulov hitting the short knee. Hits it again after Divnic threw a knee of his own, and another from Maxim Divnic, that to the body. He's a good option for both fighters, close range. Level change now from Rachman Kulov. Yeah, Divnic would have been wise to try and pull himself away from the ropes. It's such a close fight, Divnic needs to get his back off the ropes. Because it doesn't matter how many times you get back to your feet, it's not looking good for you. Rachman Kulov trying to snatch the single. Even it's showing poise, showing balance. <laughs> Trying to go for the ankle pick. Fully committed on one knee, Ruslan Rachman Kulov. Taking punishment when I tried, Sean. It's a big hammer fist from Maxim Divnich. Now across the halfway line of this third and final round. Well, Divnich is halfway through, like you see, it, Sean. He's got a break his way free from the ropes. There we go. It's his turn to change positions. Not for long. This continues to be a close range fight. Knee from Divnich and another. Bigger knees now that forces the level change in response from Rachman Kulov. Rachman Kulov giving up on the single leg. Yeah, he's relentless. There's no giving up on what he's doing. Rachman Kulov is totally dominating the clinch position. Looks over to his corner. Divnitz now switches places with him. But for how long? Divnitz needs to break free. More knees from Maxim Divnitz from the half tie plum. Big deep breath there coming from Rachman Kulov. The hands dropping below the waist for Rachman Kulov momentarily. Hands up, but not nearly as high as they were early in this fight. Right hand from Divnic. Yeah, Divnic is on the hunt. Oh, left hand. Nice knees as well. Uppercut. Divnic turning up the volume in the closing stages oh, of this fight. The counter takedown. takedown. Well, Divnic will get back to his feet if Rachman Kulov just grabs a hold of the waist like he has done. Now he's got a seatbelt position. There's the waist position. Machine, if this fight goes to Divnic, it's because Rachman Kulov has not been able to establish any sort of top position after all of these takedowns. But in essence, he has controlled Divnic up against the ropes, though. He's took him down, got back up, took him down, got back up. Albeit, he hasn't controlled the ground, but he has controlled Divnic up against the ropes. In exactly this position. We've seen it in rounds one, two, and here in round three. Well, he gets Rock, got them hands up. clasped together. Trying to step around to the back. Nothing there. Divnich takes that away. Divnich reaching under and through, looking for the separation. Another knee to the body from Maxim Divnich. Well, Divnich seems to have had his back up against the ropes for at least four and a half minutes of this fight. Final seconds now, the gong, 15 minutes up, 15 minutes down. Very close, very frustrating for Divnic. But the hand goes up for Rachman Kulov, he thinks he's won it. I will find out in a couple of minutes. Victor Korniev, refereeing and judging on this card. Slyly protecting his scorecard so our camera does not get a look. Last time Alexander Shlomenko was in this building, it was in March. He defeated Paul Bradley by unanimous decision. Olympic Stadium, Moscow. Smile on the face of Ruslan Rachman Kulov. We shall see. There's a concerned look on the face of Maxim Divnich. The great Sergei Haritonov. Outstanding heavyweight. 
Underrated heavyweight in my estimation, an outstanding striker. Finkelstein, the head of M1. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecard for a split decision in favor of your winner, Ruslan Rachmankulov! Welcome to M1, Ruslan Rachmankulov! In his debut for M1, Ruslan Rachmankulov given Maxim Divnich, the former M1 lightweight champion in his home city, Moscow, and it's Rachmankulov winning the split decision. Ruslan Rachmankulov now 11 and 1 in his pro MMA career. 11 straight victories, that far and away the biggest. The frustration continues for Maxim Dietrich, as the former M1 lightweight champion has now lost four of his last six fights. Very close, very tight. Really came down to the standing positional pressure and control of Ruslan Rachmankulov. Rachmankulov continually taking Dietrich down, who continually got back to his feet. Dietrich had his moments, landed a lot of big knees, a lot of big right hands. That in round number two, punching out the mouthpiece of Ruslan Rachmankulov. Rachmankulov continually, though, able to hit takedowns, close space, and really eliminate space for Maxim Dietrich, putting his back against the ropes time and time again over the course of 15 minutes. The winner, by way of split decision, Ruslan Rachmankulov defeats Maxim Divnich.